Crazy things can happen in the gaming world, and while I still don't think anything tops the PS3 Slim's debut in a Philippines marketplace, this one's still a bit nuts. AMD recently released source codes to its FSR4 machine learning based upscaler to GitHub, and in its first submission made a somewhat critical mistake, namely including a different version of FSR4, one that works on older GPUs, not just RDNA 4. Using the INT8 machine learning instructions, as opposed to the FP8 rendition used in actual shipping FSR4, suddenly AMD's impressive upscaler gained a huge amount of extra utility. Um, but now, let's move into the fun zone with RDNA2 testing. I'm going to test the FSR4 INT8 implementation here with the RX 6700 10GB. Um, the closest equivalent RDNA2 GPU to the PlayStation 5 graphics tech, though this is full RDNA2 that supports INT8, unlike PS5. Now, there is no clear equivalent to the Xbox Series X GPU, which does have the full RDNA2 feature set and could, in theory, run this technology. But as we've seen across five years of platform comparisons, performance is in the same overall ballpark. PS5 sometimes faster, sometimes slower than the Xbox console. We've seen some FSR2 games with a 4K output on current gen consoles, and FSR3 has a similar computational cost. So let's see how FSR4 fits in using the Horizon Bench. Again, high settings, parallax occlusion maps on. It's the slowest upscaler here, but you're still getting a 28% performance uplift in performance mode over native 4K rendering. That said, XESS on the equivalent balance mode is 15% faster, while FSR3 29% to the better. In this visualization, we have native 4K on the left, native 1080p on the far right. 1080p is the base rendering resolution of the sequence before the upscale, though some elements of the image do need to be processed internally at 4K, full res. Even so, the frame time graph is telling. FSR3 gets you closer to the 1080p line, while FSR4 is a good chunk slower, closer to the 4K line. A 5.4 millisecond processing time between the two is telling. And remember, targeting 60 frames per second, the entire frame needs to complete its rendering in just 16.7 milliseconds. Moving over to 1440p, FSR4 continues to struggle on RDNA 2. XESS with a broadly equivalent input resolution is 20% faster than native, while FSR is only 11% better. FSR3 a good 30% faster than FSR4. FSR3's lead over 4 is tighter though. The 29% at 4K drops down to 17% at 1440p and there's an average 2.3 millisecond difference between the two upscalers. Still a lot of processing time to add, mind you, bearing in mind FSR3 will, of course, have its own computational hit. All of this is enough to make you think more carefully about weighing up the performance hit against the significant quality improvement. Would lowering FSR4 base resolution restore the performance and still look better? Again, we'll look at that when a final FSR4 int 8 build emerges, but here's a little look at something I cooked up in the meantime. It's our classic Alan Wake 2 benchmark scene, effectively running at the equivalent to the PlayStation 5 and Series X's performance mode. 1440p output, tweaked low settings, FSR4 performance mode on the left, FSR2 balance mode on the right. 720p native on the left, plays 847p on the right, a 38% increase in resolution for FSR2. Despite a mooted 2.3 milliseconds of render time added to the FSR4 upscale, the cut-in resolution is enough to deliver a small 4% performance advantage. Is image quality better? Can't really tell in this scene, right? <laughs> it's rather dark. But in a lighter area, FSR4 cleans up a great deal of the flicker, improves temporal coherence in foliage and power lines, and I guess it is the better image despite having 38% of additional resolution to upscale from. Food for thought. While talking about consoles though, it's almost certainly the case that PlayStation 5, the base model, not the Pro, um, does not support Int8 machine learning instructions. So for the lulls more than anything else, I thought I'd try the new FSR4 Int8 on AMD's Radeon RX 5700 XT, which like PlayStation 5, has no ML support. So here's what happens at 1440p resolution. So yeah, unlike XESS, there is no fallback for non-ML GPUs. Still an amusing diversion nonetheless. 